Let's look inside the printer for just a minute. From the other video, you saw that we've got a 24 inch X by a 13 Y by a 19 and a half Z. We have three nozzles running uh, on an XYZ gantry with a liquid cooled head. And by the way, the nozzles come in brass and what we call Kratos, which is a special nozzle that comes from a manufacturer that's incredibly hard, as hard as tool steel, if not harder. And basically that works for the filled materials. And you can actually run those Kratos nozzles for all materials that we have without having to change out at all. Um, these uh, nozzles are tied to the industrial strength ceramic heaters, which uh, enable uh, quick heat up and quick cool down. And then uh, we have an LCD screen on the front that will show you the condition of the nozzles. They're all currently in resting, uh, in resting mode right now. Um, this is nozzle one, nozzle two, nozzle three. This is the chamber temperature, and this is the bed temperature. And we have the pinwheel that controls the uh, LCD screen. So we now can run basically every, almost every function off the printer directly from here. If you want to unload, change filament, purge, unload, purge filament, that tells you which nozzle, basically, and then you just use the pinwheel uh, throughout all of your print functions. One of the things that we like most about the printer, because it's used obviously so much as a part of the printing process, is the unique print bed that we have. And this print bed uh, is, is held on an aluminum platform that comes leveled from the factory, and it's held in place by neodymium magnets. You basically pull it out. The print bed is carbon fiber with a layer of PEI or Ultem over the top. This enables the, the parts when they're hot to stick and stay uh, in place, um, and you just cannot remove them when they're hot. And when, uh, and when you're done printing, it cools down very quickly. You can basically just slide the parts right off the print bed. And then when you're done, you can wipe it with isopropyl alcohol, stick it in place, and just slide it back in, and you're ready to print. And no films, no glues, no trays, nothing. So that's a very simple process. The uh, coolant for the printer is actually on the top, and you just make sure that you keep that coolant um, filled, check it once a week.